for today's video we are going to be shooting the 77 grain sierra tipped match king out of a 223 had a buddy give me these bullets he shoots these out of his 223 antelope hunting really likes them wanted me to test them in ballistics gelatin first shots will be reduced loads simulating longer range shots and i'll flip the locks and shoot a high velocity load We definitely penetrated a little ways, tumbled, tumbled a second time, and it did not stick in my table, it must have flew off, so that one was definitely way too slow, at 1,018 feet per second, so we'll bump, bump that up a few grains. And that pretty much looks like did the same thing, penetrated a little ways, tumbled, tumbled again, exited the same side of my block. I don't see the bullet. So again, this is still a little too slow to get them to open up at 1,265 feet per second. <laughs> We definitely opened up that time. And that is pretty cool looking. Because you can see the jacket and core separation right there. After that bullet came in, lost its green tip at about one inch, started opening up good at one and five eighths, carrying your better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the two inch mark to eight and three quarters of an inch where it tapers down and the, the permanent wound cavity stops at about the 10 inch mark and then the leading edge of that core is 12 and seven eighths and a larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is two and an eighth by two That one was moving 1,650 feet per second.
this. So we can see that bullet a little bit better. And there we have it opening up at about three eighths of an inch, then getting that explosive permanent wound cavity from the seven eighths of an inch to seven and a half inches, carrying some permanent wound cavity to the 10 inch mark, and the leading edge of that bullet at 12 and a quarter inches. A large portion of that permanent wound cavity would be five inches by four and seven eighths. I will pull these out when I get home and I will give weight retentions on them. But I can see why this bullet is liked by my friend for antelope hunting. That would do a decent job exploding right in the lung lungs of a antelope. I don't know that I'd try using it on deer or anything larger than an antelope, but overall not, not a bad performing bullet and shows that yes, match bullets can make perfectly adequate hunting bullets. Hope you guys enjoy the video.